high. Athletes are always remembered by their highest and lowest points. People make mistakes, we all know that. It's just that some mistakes are hilariously funny. On the other hand, some mistakes appear rather crude. Alright, in today's episode you guys are gonna see 10 funny, hilarious, rude and awkward moments in sports. Alright, here we go. The guy with the ball is Michael Bowling. And this game was going rather well for Michael's team. In fact, you're watching Michael score. Well, what happens next is a bit awkward though. Maybe Mike was aiming for the crowd and miscalculated a bit. Or maybe he just didn't like that guy and decided to hit him in the face with a ball. Either way, I don't think that fella deserves such a painful hit. It appears that not everyone knows that arguing with a referee isn't the best idea. Well, this video proves it. The referee was just spraying a line and accidentally sprayed on one of the player's boots. The young player got a little sore and got a bit angry, so referee felt obliged to pipe him down. Yep, right all over his face. He was like, don't get too excited, amigo. I wonder what future will bring to our young player. Caroline Wozniacki was once one of the best female tennis players. One very funny accident happened to her hair during US Open one year. Some people say she almost lost all her hair after that incident. I guess she followed that ball more or less automatically, because there isn't much chance of making a decent strike when your hair are all tangled up to a rocket. Anyway, she won that game. It turns out that long hair can be quite problematic for many female athletes. It's a little different with Nigerian Blessing Okagbare. During the Diamond League in Oslo, Blessing's best tryout was accompanied by a little trouble with her wig. She tried so hard, she lost it when she landed. And that's nice slow-mo footage right here. Blessing didn't seem to mind that incident too much. She put her wig back on and left the stadium as if nothing ever happened. Oh, well, good for her. And here's what happens when you spend too much time at McDonald's instead of keeping yourself in shape. This guy certainly seems a little heavier than his fellow sportsmen. Maybe he's just building up to press that uh, turbo button. I guess the main problem was to stop this invincible Blade Runner afterwards. In basketball, a referee never goes on court during the game, but that doesn't mean referees don't get hit permanently, and this video proves it. The guy who did a layup and scored two points for his team was so happy about it he made an aggressively happy hand gesture. Like, yes! Mm, too bad I didn't notice the ref. Poor dude was right behind him. Player's massive fist hit that guy's stomach like a truck. In 2015 Lisbon Marathon, British athlete Mo Farah came first. Although his triumph was a little overshadowed at the very end, the poor guy fell right after he crossed the finish line. How unfortunate. But I guess that don't matter much as long as you realize you came first. Congrats to you Mo, keep it up buddy. Before the game with Joe Muller, Spanish tennis player Rafael Nadal hit his head on a door frame. Ouch, that must have been painful. Anyway, both players laughed about it. And by the way, Muller won that game. Kenyan runner Michael Kanaga was almost paralyzed a few meters before the finish line during a Hanover marathon. He was coming second when all of a sudden, Something happened to his leg just about four meters before the line. And despite such inconvenience, Michael gathered all his strength and crawl. And that's the spirit. Now, do you guys have enough power and force in your hands and wrists to click the like button? Let's see. 
Make sure you guys share this video with your friends. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.